The shotgun has always been a beloved weapon in a majority of FPS games. Fortnite is no different. In fact, most players would actually prefer a shotgun rather than an AR, even in the mid to late games. Since most of Fortnite's fights end up in close quarters, the shotgun is the most useful weapon in all of Fortnite. But which one should you use? Check out ProGuys.com to vote on your favorite shotgun in Season 9. Then hop on a game through Instapro to test them all out with one of Fortnite's most skilled coaches. So if we take a look at Fortnite's shotgun record, we see a nostalgia-heavy pattern. In Season 1, we had the pump and tactical shotguns. As time went on, Epic decided to add a variety of shotguns, such as the double barrel, the combat shotgun, the drum gun, and now the new tactical. In this meta, we have so many different options and choices. Sometimes we take the pump, sometimes we take the combat. But are some better than others? My name is Dan, and today we're bringing you an in-depth analysis of the shotguns to help you choose the right one. We'll also show you the most effective way to utilize them. Season 10 is around the corner, and people are puzzled as to what's going to be released next. But we can't see any new shotguns coming anytime soon. Also, we just released a master's course on shotguns showing you in-depth what is the best shotgun and how to properly use it. These courses are made by the best of the best in the World Cup. First up, we have the Pump Shotgun. This gun has been around since the advent of Fortnite and has a history of being the most favored weapon. We all remember those amazing 100 plus damage pump shots and the times when the double pump was actually a thing. The pump is a close range weapon that excels mainly in close quarters. Its bullet spread is medium and does not result in many missed shots. This weapon has been nerfed and buffed heavily throughout Fortnite's history and has a reputation of being the most lethal up close. 200 damage 1 bangs is something we all remember. In fact, it's still possible nowadays. It's just very hard. I can't remember a single time somebody picked a pump shotgun up and had a complaint. But how exactly is the pump such a dominant weapon? In the early game, all it takes is a well-timed shot to finish somebody off, or two body shots. But people don't have shields. Most people don't have shields, which makes it easy to use. Mid to late game, this weapon still packs a punch, but is usually combined with a spray weapon. The most effective way to utilize this weapon is to go for chip damage. Now, if you guys don't know what chip damage is, it's the basis for all blitz speed damage attacks while building. There's a reason you see players like Clicks and Mongrel hit shots while building. One of the primary reasons people use a spray weapon with a pump is when you get into a close quarters fight, the pump's slow firing speed may get you killed. It occurs mainly when we go all in, and one pump shot usually isn't enough to get the job done. The pump also lacks the firing rate of the combat and new tactical, which means you won't be able to keep up with the others without a spray weapon. Regardless, the pump does very well at close quarters and can take fully shielded enemies to literally zero with a good enough shot. Most professionals strive to finish their enemies quicker as it makes life a lot easier. The pump also lacks damage output when shooting slightly further from close range, which makes it very subpar. Even while aiming down sight, you can only do around 30 damage from close range, making it far less effective than an SMG or AR. A great example of a medium range shotgun would be the combat shotgun, which we'll talk about in a bit. Okay, so overall, the pump is a great weapon pull for the early, mid, and late games. It excels mainly up close and is usurped by the combat and new tactical. Some people prefer it to other weapons, and it's definitely not a bad weapon to use, but there are better options as well. When we think of the tactical shotgun, the first thing that comes to mind is wet noodles. There's no better way to describe this weapon. It hits players for petty damage and is almost entirely based around RNG. The shotgun itself isn't bad, but it doesn't hit sufficient numbers, not to mention having a big bullet spread. It pales in comparison with the pump or the combat, and almost nobody will pick one up unless it's a rare variation. Or they have no other choice. But I mean, if we really think about it, there's been many instances where we absolutely demolish players using the shotgun, so why all the fuss? Well, in competitive Fortnite, nobody uses this weapon for two reasons. The first is that Fortnite's ever-evolving meta makes it super tough to go for an all-in fight knowing you have a chance of dying. The fact that the tactical shotgun usually hits for around 60 with a good close range shot means you need around 4 good hits to finish off an enemy. Unfortunately, this kind of time isn't given to most people. The combat or pump is able to take you from 200 to 50 in a second or two. If you try to engage using a tactical shotgun, the chance of your dying is very high. You wouldn't hit consistent damage, and even if you did, your chance to survive is still pretty slim. The second is that if you're looking for a weapon that can do damage up close and at close range, this gun doesn't have much to offer other than up close damage. It barely damages players from close range, and from anything beyond up close range, just forget about it. You'd need over 30 shots to kill someone. This isn't a rip on the tactical shotgun, okay? I've seen many players dominate with it, but when we talk about the most optimal, this definitely isn't the shotgun you want to be using. I'm just saying there's a good reason most pro players don't use them. Like, ever. There are better alternatives, and why go for something that hits wet noodles? Consistency is what we look for, and the tactical shotgun doesn't have it when it comes to damage numbers. 
Now, on the bright side, the tactical shotgun is a very effective early game weapon. It works wonders when it comes to clearing out enemies and has the firing speed to keep up with most weapons. So we only advise using this shotgun if you have no other options or for the early game. Other than that, it's all personal preference. Now for the new tactical shotgun. Epic recently added a new variant of the tactical shotgun Fortnite. This new weapon packs quite a punch and drops in both legendary and epic quality. Its bullet spread is similar to the tactical but is far more accurate. Here's the stat breakdown of the gun. It hits for 83 to 87 maximum damage, it fires 1.5 shots per second, it holds 8 shells, its headshot multiplier is 2.25, and can be found from floor loot, chests, supply drops, loot carriers, and vending machines. So judging from that, it seems to have a very decent stat breakdown, but it doesn't seem to be found as often as other weapons. We tested this gun out a couple times, and I must say, I was impressed. It can hit upwards of 150 damage from close range and averages 70 to 80 damage with a decent body shot. The fire rate isn't too bad either, which makes it nearly as good as the combat. Now, imagine what a player with a good shot can do with this gun. Three words. Rest. In. Peace. This gun might actually become the new favorite. We'll wait to see how it unfolds. Check out this clip of DK killing it with the new gun. So as you saw, it's pretty strong like I said, but it's too early to speculate whether or not this gun will be the new favorite. From what we've seen, it has potential. Let us know down below your thoughts on this new release. The drum shotgun has come as a shock to all of us. Everybody dreaded the Tommy gun and nobody would have ever expected Fortnite to release something inevitably worse. But you know Fortnite is notorious for making controversial updates. This gun is capable of shredding an opponent from close range in a matter of seconds. It packs so much power that even with any other weapon, you'd lose. Assuming the enemy has very good aim, of course. This weapon can hit up to 50 damage up close per shot and fires nearly at the rate of the Tommy gun. If you're looking for some close range engagements, this is the way to go. But anything past up close and personal, this weapon is even worse than the tactical shotgun. Its terrible spread is so large that you can't even tell where to aim sometimes. It's more of a W key burst into somebody's box type of gun than it is an optimal one. Because of this huge spread, you won't be able to do any significant damage from a distance. It has just as much range as the double barrel had, which means that in a build fight, you won't be able to go for chip damage. We all know how vital chip damage is at the pro level. That's one of the main reasons people don't use it. The drum shotgun is a weapon that requires you to go for an all-in, rather than take an enemy down piece by piece. This gun also causes many people to die from traps or a blank headshot. That's one of the reasons people don't like it. It also forces a type of gameplay that many people dislike. Who wants to get up close and personal with an enemy? It isn't worth the risk using this weapon so close, where there's a chance somebody has a pump or a shotgun and is going to one-pump you. So this gun is mainly usable in very close quarter environments and for the early game. Very few pro players pick it up, which is why it's definitely not a fan favorite. And finally, we have the strongest of them all, the combat shotgun. This gun is inarguably the best gun right now and has been since its release. It hits excellent damage from both up close and range. Epic did nerf the shotgun, but we've tested it out and it's still good at range. The only difference is that now some people will choose other weapons instead of only the combat. One of the many reasons people prefer the pump is because it allows for a more versatile type of gameplay. Not only does this gun strike hard and have a decent range, but it reloads two shots at a time. It also has a quick pullout and reload speed. The combat shotgun also allows you to carry three different utility items as it makes up for a spray weapon. Its fast fire rate is arguably better than having a pump and SMG combined. So next time you have a combat shotgun, take a spray weapon and three other utilities. Trust me, it's worth it. The advantage of three utilities is the versatility it brings with it. Most pro players use an AR and a shotgun, which allows them to utilize their loadouts with more availability. Instead of an extra spray weapon, they have smoke grenades or a shadow bomb. The combat shotgun allows many players to basically dominate build fights while still maintaining consistency and building placement. It's the most used weapon in creative fights and end game scrims. The drop rate on this weapon isn't high and not everybody gets a chance to use it, but the good news is for players who manage to earn a couple of kills early game, they're almost always guaranteed to pull a combat shotgun. One of the most unique features of this weapon is that when you ADS, it really shines. It hits for full 100 plus shots on any ADS shot and has the closest spread of them all. This shotgun is basically a combination of an AR and a shotgun. With the recent range nerf, it's no longer good for medium far range distances, but it's still highly effective for close medium range fights. Now let's decide which gun is best. For early games, all shotguns are viable. I'm sure most people would prefer pulling a shotgun early game rather than an AR SMG, right? 
Most of it comes down to personal preference, but when we get to mid-game, there are only a few possible options – the combat, the pump, and the new tactical shotgun. The TAC is very new, and we've yet to see how valuable it can be. From what I've seen, it hits very hard and has a substantial fire rate. It may actually be even better than the pump, as the pump shotgun requires a secondary spray weapon to be effective. I know you can always build after shooting, but what happens if you get into a close box fight where there's no room to move or place traps? The chances of you being able to one-pump an enemy are slim. When we factor in the combat shotgun, the rest of these weapons are blown away. The combat has a good range, fire rate, and is optimal for both range and close quarters. It's the definition of a W-key tactical shotgun. Now, between our top three shotguns, the combat, the pump, and the new tactical, it really all comes down to personal preference. Even after the combat nerf, many people are still choosing that weapon. So let us know what you guys think the best shotgun is. Comment down below, and thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure that you like and subscribe to this video. You can also follow me on Twitter at, at Daniel Ammerman, and good luck with your grind. See you guys out there.